Two. What's going on, world? I am DJ Swaver, and I want to welcome you all to another episode of Ottoman Box Openings. On today's episode, we're going to be opening a shoe that mixes the old school with the new school feel to it. We're talking about the red and white colorway of the new Adidas Aniki Runner with the boost bottom. But before we get to that box opening, I want to talk about something with y'all, my YouTube family. This isn't even about sneakers. This is about having a dream and going to get that dream. When I started this YouTube channel about two months ago, I really don't know why I started it. I figured, hey, I got a lot of shoes. I might as well go on YouTube, put my two cents in because I pay so much money for all these sneakers. Little did I know by doing that, I lit a passion inside of me and I'm in love with doing these videos. People don't realize how much work it takes to put into a 10 minute video. Sometimes I'm up till three in the morning filming and editing videos. It's really a lot of work, but is it really work when you're doing something you love? I feel like by doing this, I found something that I really truly love to do. So I don't mind spending late nights doing this. Some of y'all might have dreams or goals out there and you think it may be just a little bit too much work to get to. Well, I'm here to tell you, don't be afraid to hop out there and do a little work to get to a goal you want to reach in your life. The hardest part is starting. Once you find enough courage to hop out there and start it, the work and going after the goal is the fun and easy part. Do I think I'm going to become some major YouTuber? I don't know. And to be honest with you, I don't care. As long as I'm doing something that helps fulfill me and what I want to do in life, I'm all with it. So I said all that to say, if you have a goal, go get it. If you got a dream, reach for it. Shoot for the stars, because you might end up being the first person on Mars. I just wanted to give my YouTube family a few encouraging words. If those words were able to reach just one person, hey, I did my job for the day. Enough about all that. Let's get to this box opening. Yeah. Here we have the Adidas Aniki Runner Boost model in the red and white colorway. As soon as I saw the pictures of this shoe on social media and on the internet, I knew I had to get my hands on it. It has that classic Samba or Gazelle model feel, but it's modernized with the Boost midsole. I feel like it's the perfect blend of old school and new school. Being that I'm in love with the new school style of shoes, but I still have a personal bias towards the old school style of shoes, this was an easy decision for me to cop. I knew I was going to get my hands on them, and that's what we did. Being that I I've never had this model before. I'm a size 13 and I went true to size in this shoe. From what I've heard and what I read, this shoe pretty much runs true to size. It's not like your Ultra Boost or your NMDs where you can size down. From what I read, that true to size was the way to go and sizing down is a complete mistake. So a size 13 is what I went with. Nothing special about this box, just a regular Adidas box. Even with it having a boost midsole, they decided to go with a regular box. I'm not mad at it. Like I said before, I'm not really a fan of boxes. It's cool if the box is dope, but if not, I don't care. I'm not wearing the box, I'm wearing the sneaker inside the box. Enough about all that, let's get to this box opening. <laughs> oh, jeez, that red is already popping. Let me get this sneaker out right now. And here we have the Aniki Runner Boost in the red and white colorway. And I must say this shoe is fire as hell. Literally. I mean, all this red. Whoo. If y'all didn't know by now, red is my favorite color, and this shoe did not disappoint by using all of this red. This shoe definitely has me feeling like I hopped in the time machine and went back to the 70s with the modern twist of the shoe being the Boost midsole. I must say, man, Adidas is on to something with this sneaker. Let's start out with this toe box. This toe box is that classic nylon mesh feel to it. This is before the perforated leather. This is before the perforated suede. Most shoes back in the day were made of that nylon material right here on the toe box. The toe capping is made Made of a premium suede of course you have that white boost midsole as the modern day twist to this shoe underneath you have that beautiful gum bottom it is not a continental sole this is definitely a sole that you will find on the nmd runner it's not like you're gonna be running in this shoe so basically the only thing that matter with this sole is the color of the sole and that adds a perfect complement to this white and red upper of the shoe you have your three stripes for the adidas branding in this slim smooth leather not a premium leather but i mean most leather back in the day wasn't premium especially on the three stripes Underneath the three stripes, you have that same red nylon mesh material that you had on your toe box. Going around to the heel portion of the shoe, you have a mixture of that red suede that is on your toe capping, as well as that red nylon mesh underneath. On the heel portion of the shoe, you have that classic three-leaf Adidas branding on top of the heel wrap, which is made up of a nice leather, the same type of leather that is on the three stripes on the side of the shoe. Again, you have that suede on your heel counter with the mesh underlay. Boost midsole, and I'm loving how you can see that gum bottom all the way around 
around the shoe. Coming to the inside of the shoe, you have that suede coming from the heel counter of the shoe down to the middle portion. The leather three stripes, nylons mesh underneath. Pretty much the same thing you saw on the other side of the shoe. Not much to say about this shoe. Simple yet super clean. No extra laces. Came with simple red laces, but what other color would you need on this shoe? I'm loving this classic branded on the tongue. This tongue is again that same mesh material that your toe box is made out of. Just like you would see in the old school Sambas or Gazelle sneakers from the 70s. The left shoe completely mirrors the right shoe, so I'm not going to repeat myself and sound redundant. The upper is comprised of a red suede or a red mesh material. Three stripes made out of simple leather. Of course, you have the Aniki model name right there. Like other classic models with Adidas, the Gazelle, the Samba, they all have their model name right there on the first Adidas stripe. Boost bottom, gum sole. I mean, there's not much to say about this shoe, but this shoe is so damn fire. My only thing about this shoe is that it looks flimsy as hell, so I'm wondering where the support is going to be in this shoe. I don't feel it in the heel counter. It's definitely not in the toe box. The only type of sturdiness in this shoe is in the ankle portion of the shoe, but even that isn't sturdy. So I'm wondering, is your foot going to be sliding around in this shoe? This shoe definitely wasn't made to work out in. This shoe was definitely made to be a lifestyle shoe, so I would advise you not to go run marathons in this shoe. I'm loving the classic feel to this sneaker. This shoe, of course, came out in a gray colorway and a navy blue colorway. I really wasn't feeling those, plus I had too many gray and navy shoes as it is, so the red and white was a must-have to me out of those three colorways. Tell me how y'all feel about this shoe in the comment section. Are you liking it? Are you not liking it? Did you get you a pair? I don't even think these shoes went to boutiques. I haven't seen any boutiques release this colorway. They've only been releasing the gray and the navy blue colorway. I only saw these shoes release on adidas.com. I just happened to be at the right place at the right time and was able to get a size 13 because as soon as I got that size 13, it seemed like this shoe sold out right after that. If you're looking to cop a pair of these shoes off the resale market, I definitely wouldn't pay more than $200 for these shoes. I got a weird feeling there's going to be hella restocks of this colorway as well as the other two colorways. Stay patient. This shoe was only $140. I would not jump out the window and pay $200 for this shoe. It's a dope shoe, but I don't think it's worth $200. Just my piece of advice to you, take it if you want to. I really don't care because I have a pair. A great mixture of old school and new school. A classic looking silhouette with a modernized touch to it. This is the Adidas Aniki Runner in the red and white colorway. If you haven't already, smash that like button, smash that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And when you subscribe, please hit that bell button right next to the subscribe button so when I post something on YouTube, you get it first. Of course, I have more box openings coming in the near future. And I also think I may do a video of my pickups from the GOAT app. I've been able to get a lot of sneakers that I let go in the past that I wanted to get back and I want to share those with y'all. I have about eight shoes I picked up from the GOAT app and they are all bangers. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Once again, I am DJ Swaver. This is another episode of Ottoman Box Openings and until next time, peace. Yeah.